All right, boys. It's Molly's hungry. She's starving. Molly, what do you spend? Wanted to come over here. Look at this fish. I saw the fish. I thought about eating Christopher, but I held back. <laughs> Oh, I love how it interacts with those words. I kept eating and eating. Oh my god. Wait, did you see her skin? Did she, does she have chicken pox? Wait, before I do the berries. Because it looks like she's going to actually eat the berries. I saw this over here. The gerbil food was dry, but I didn't mind it. I ate a lot of things that night. I doubt those are real. Then I heard chirping outside my window. It was a barn swallow going back to her nest. I reached out for her. And suddenly... That scared the hell out of me. Oh, that scared the hell out of me. Come on, Brady. Oh. Okay, space bars jump. Come on, Brady. I tried to be quiet, but the bird was really scared. This is so cool. Oh, wait. I jumped and I almost got her. Oh man, you got a pissed off kitty. I could tell she was getting really tired. Now I was up in the big tree. I promised Dad I wouldn't climb it anymore. All I cared about was eating that mama bird. Come here, you birdie. I gobbled her up. And suddenly, I was an owl. First, all I heard was the wind. Then I heard little teeth nibbling in the grass. Got it. Bye now, boy. I imagined his face looking up and seeing mine through my talons. I swallowed him up, and I didn't chew one bit. Then I flew off to find something bigger. Come here. Come here, boy. Gotcha. She was almost too big to carry. I started choking, but I couldn't stop eating. Jeez. And suddenly, I was a shark. What? 
<laughs> oh my god. Just having one hell of a dream. Oh jeez. Oh Jesus. Oh no. Oh god, oh no. Ah, I'm just a shark. What am I supposed to do? Ah. Ah. Help me. Oh god. Oh no. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> help me! Oh, no, boys, help me! Oh, God! I rolled oh, off the cliff and into the ocean. Oh. Now, <laughs> I was hungrier than ever. Oh, oh. Come here, boy. Come here, boy. I see you. Come here, boy. I wanted fat, juicy seals. Come here, boy. Gotcha. Where'd he go? Come here, boy. I'm gonna get you. You're mine. But I was so hungry, I jumped out of the water. When I opened my eyes, everything had changed. I think I'm on the barge. Oh, what the? What am I? Oh, what the? Oh, am I an octopus? Now I was a monster and I smelled people up. Come here. Come here, birdie. You're mine. Oh, I can't look around. Sorry, buddy, but I'm a little hungry tonight. You'll be mine. You ever seen anime? You know what they do with tentacles. Yeah. Ah. Alright. See if we can get another victim. I must educate these men I on proper enemy. Stop, but also I did it. I'm sorry, buddy. I understand the drink. Trust me, I do, and I really love your singing. But I'm gonna teach you what proper enemies culture is. Come on, buddy. Sorry, Captain, old Captain. But. I think you're going to be my third tentacle victim. Once again, I must pose this question, but do you know what an enemy is? Come here, boy! Last passenger, I was still hungry. And across the water, I smelled something new. Something I had to have. So I swam towards it. What am I this time? Oh, I'm still the tentacle. I slithered onto the sand, and the good smell went into an old pipe. Ew. Oh, I don't want to go into the sewer. What's wrong with you, girl? Oh. Nice, nice. It's, okay, oh, come on. Come on, that's the sewer in it. Oh, that's, oh. We can't get them while they're on the pot. That's just, that's just wrong. You know, that's just, that's just ill-mannered. Oh. Okay. I got closer and closer. Molly? Uh oh.
All my stomach. All my stomach started growling. And suddenly, I was me again. I held my breath for a long time, but I couldn't hear anything. I think it's waiting for me to fall asleep. But it's not going to wait much longer. It needs to be, and we both know. I will be delicious. What the fuck? Molly. I told me that was the last entry. Can't end it like that. I'm not sure if I believed all of that, but I'm sure Edie would have. Oh, man. The hell was that? I can't describe it, but I felt like some part of Molly was still here. That's why what we should do is burn the house down. Can't get I can't get up through there. Can't get can't go through there. Oh. I didn't see this. Oh come on, you're crazy. It's an old house. Oh, you're, you're insane. This will be obvious later, but my mom never told me any of these stories. Edie would have, but mom didn't like bringing up the past. Though, when we adopted a stray kitten, she was the one who named it Molly. Oh. I spent a lot of time in Great Grandma Edie's room. Wow. She had nothing but animals. Birds. Lurpy, look at that. 1952 to 1963. Oh, wow. That's actually kind of cool. Zerpy. Herply. That, that's, aw, oh, that's, that's actually really cute. That, does that say rub? Rob. <laughs> Burpy. Bob. So if it's a reptile, it's Bob Rob. This one doesn't have a nameplate on it. Derpy. <laughs> that, oh my god, Starship General I'm Okay. Wait, what the? The finches. A falling fog. Shrine sketches. Edie knit me a new pair of gloves every year. Just in time to replace the old ones. Lewis died a week before we left, but Edie had already started to memorialize him. Oh, man. Oh, wow. Molly, Barbara, Calvin, Sam, Walter. This is so cool. Lewis. Gus, Don, Gregory. Lewis, Milton, Edith. Her room was like a museum. Joining the great majority. Mysteries of death and thereafter. Ben, Edie. Odin Finch, joining the great majority. For 500 years, the Finches have been famous throughout Norway for their fortune. And misfortune. Tony, click. Odin Finch buries the latest victims of the family curse. His wife, Ingeborg, and their newborn son, Johan. On January 7th, 1937, he set sail with his family and his house, hoping to leave the curse behind. But 40-foot waves off the coast of Washington send the house and Odin to the bottom of the sea. Oh my god. Odin's daughter Edie, with husband Sven and baby Molly, step ashore on their new home, Orcas Island. 
Odin Finch is the first to be buried in the new family cemetery. Wow. His daughter Edie is already dreaming of a new Finch house. How do I exit this? I don't know how to exit this. Let me put you down. Oh, I gotta hold it. Okay. Whatever's wrong with this family, it goes back a long ways. Norwegian folktale. I feel like that's probably like a massive hint as to what's wrong. Mole man beneath the Finch house. Edie gave a big interview about a mole man living under the Finch house. My mom was furious. <laughs> Just to fuck with them. Keep them on their toes. I hadn't thought of myself as Edith Jr. for a long, long time. Sam Fuddlework conspiracy now. Home movies, Sam Metal Ceremony, Weird America, The Finches, My Friend Bigfoot, Edith Interview, Random Junk. Edie won't go. 72 year old woman refuses to evacuate because of a little forest fire. One summer they evacuated the island, but Edie refused to go. For a few weeks, she was a celebrity. <laughs> That's awesome. When Edie told people Sven was killed by a dragon, she could also have said he was building a dragon-shaped slide that collapsed. She could have, but she didn't. <laughs> wow. Dragon kills Finch. That is crazy. There's so much history. Even in her 90s. Sometimes Edie seemed a lot younger than my mother. Whoa. Oh god, that's horrendous. This is... The floor looks horrible. The only trace Grandpa Sam's first wife Kay left on the house was the pink bathroom. Oh. Uh. It was a pretty big trace. Oh yeah. It's horrendous. I would have repainted this. I would at the least get rid of the damn carpet. Who has carpet like that in a bathroom? That's just disgusting. Oh, what the? There's a secret in this bathroom by Sven and Edie Finch. What? The key opens multiple things. There's a secret in this bathroom. You're in this bathroom. It's in the last place you would look. It isn't in the cupboard. It's hidden in this book. Oh, <laughs> what? What? They had, they had a dark room. Calvin and Finch. Sven gave Sam an old camera he'd refurbished. He never put it down. Wow. This is awesome. All right, boys. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Bye.